Hi there, this is Leben. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. In this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this flat icon with a long drop shadow um, in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this artboard and then let's drop it there. Then I'm just going to delete everything in it. I'm going to create everything from scratch. Okay, everything's been deleted. So what I'm going to do is just go to the Eclipse tool there. Just create a hold shift in and drag with the mouse. Hold and drag. And then just doesn't matter the size. You can um, create any size you want. Then what you can do is just choose a random color. I just decided to go with this color because it looks nice. This teal color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place in a file, oh sorry, an icon that I did already downloaded from a website called fraticon.com but I will put a link in the description. Um, I've downloaded the SVG version as it will be easier for me as well or, um, to change the color of the icon and apply to whichever color I want like um, if I want it blue, if I want it yellow, red, black etc but we're gonna go with white in this tutorial so the size of the icon doesn't really matter um, you can choose whatever size you can have it big or small um, but we can just have the one we just had now so next um, we're gonna create a duplicate so control C and control V create our duplicate copy there and then we can just um, change the color to black and then we're gonna create another color uh, make another copy so that's control C and control F so that th what does what that does is it creates a duplicate exactly on the image you copied or what the object that you copied so we're gonna change that color to black as well and then the difference here is we're gonna click on that one, go to the transparency tab, and then gonna drop the opacity down to 50%. So what this does is when we blend these two together, it will have that nice shadow effect. So from let me zoom in a little bit, so you can't see it 100 percent but it gives that nice fade from, from a very very slight black to a darker black and it'll give you a nice effect you, um, I just use 50% as a preference but you can use even lower than that if you really want the inside of the icon to be very low transparent so let's click on that uh, click on the, um, the icon with the 50% opacity and then go click on the other icon and okay before sorry before that um, as a preference but you can play around depending on your icon I like to keep my align my icon with in the middle of the circle and the bottom of the circle so it kind of blends well in a way but uh, let's do that um, around there or so you can hide it doesn't really matter it's just something I find it's very more it just blends well that way so anyways so just select both of those two and you go to object and tap on top then you go down to blend and then choose make or alt control and b now what that does is it creates a blend of the two colors with this new extra icon in the middle so what we do then is without without clicking anything or selecting anything we go back to object and we go down to blend again then we go to blend options this time and then what you'll see is um, spacing orientation the orientation we're going to leave as is and we can go click tick the preview ta um, button and then we go to smooth color and under the spacing tab when you open expand the menu click space specified distance and there you go now it blends the two um while to while together so you can choose how many steps i just use one for this tutorial example say press enter and there we go then what you want to do is you want to drop the opacity down to 50 percent and it will give a nice blend you can go lower to 
30% depending on what your preference is in the darkness of the shadow so okay and then after that what we want to do is click on the circle now and we're going to do Control c and Control f again and what does and then create another copy of the circle so you can see, you can see. so what you can do after that is click on the uh, newly um, blended shape and what you want to do is right click once and go to arrange and then send to back so it will send our newly created shadow to right at the back and then you can click now on the the the, the, the eclipse and then click on the shadow with shift and uh, left click now those two are selected and then what you do is you go to object and then you go to clipping mask and then make and there we go a nice and simple way to create an icon with a drop shadow um, I like this method because it's quite fast and efficient in terms of creating mass production icons on the fly I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial um, like and subscribe if you like to see more and don't forget to like or dislike this video um, and comment below if you want to see any other tutorials within Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for tuning in.